What is up lads? It's CMG here. Welcome to another episode of Over School. Now, the last two episodes that we did based on this series, we looked at two games that were sent in through our Discord server. So two guys uh, that were very, very good friends of mine on not just my Discord server, but another Discord server, you know, Discord section, whatever. Uh, sent me some games to take a look at so I can learn a crap ton. Now, this episode, this is episode three. This episode, I'm going to be checking out a game that's not based on my Discord server. So with all due respect to everybody sending me codes on, on my Discord, I will go ahead and check those out in due course. However, this game that I'm going to be taking a look at is very interesting to me because not only is this something that I actually do want to take a look at, but this is a game that I actually found just browsing the internet. So I found a website that's very, very useful for people to post up codes of their games for everybody else to have a look at and share and whatever and do whatever they bloody hell want with it. So what I decided to do was I decided to take benefit from this and find a game, which is what I'm going to be looking at today, on somebody playing as Echo. Now, as you can see here, I'll put up the information of this game on the screen right now so you can check it out. So basically what it is, it's a 54 Elim in QP game for the guy playing as Echo. So yeah, 54 Elims in QP as Echo. The SR is 3000 Diamond. So this guy's a Diamond player. The guy's name is Wolfin. The hero that he plays in the game is just, it's just Echo. And the description here says, popped off as Echo. The map is Dorado. The duration is 11 minutes, 30 seconds. And the score is a 1-0 victory. This was uploaded two days ago. So... The reason why I want to take a look at this game in particular is because I'm really enjoying playing Echo right now. And I've got to be honest, like, I don't really play very much DPS. I'm more of a tank player. Uh, now, if you know me, if you've been playing loads of Overwatch with me, you, you guys know who you are. I mentioned you guys in the previous video. You'll know that I'm a big tank player. Uh, I don't really play very much DPS because I'm terrified of playing DPS. However... There are certain DPS players that I will play. One of them is Echo. Now, like I said, I love playing Echo. In fact, last night, I played a crap ton of Echo in a few quick play matches, and I had a bloody brilliant time playing solo. This is something that I would never have said to you. I wouldn't have said, oh my god, I'm, I'm really enjoying playing Overwatch solo, because usually, I just get toxic. <laughs> but the fact is, I've been playing a lot of Echo, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and check out this guy playing Echo, 54 limbs. I'm going to learn a crap ton. Now, the other thing that I wanted to mention as well is this is a PC game. This is not a PlayStation 4 game. This is not an Xbox game. Well, actually, the fact of the matter is I'm checking out a PC game, which leads me to believe that you can actually check out Overwatch games through every platform. So this is cross-platform. I don't understand why us console players can't check out Overwatch League matches then. I mean, I would love to be able to check it out loads of Overwatch League games and checking them out and just learning so much. Right, so the team composition we have, uh, assuming that this is a, a quick play match, so you can check, select your roles and everything. So you've got two DPS, two tanks and two healers. Yeah, that's right. So we've got... We've got a Genji, an Echo, obviously, Anna, Sigma, Zarya, and Mercy. So, yeah. This is an interesting composition. So basically, I'm not going to focus too much on the actual composition and what they're using. I'm just going to learn how to use Echo. So here we go. Let's just ride with Echo at the moment. So 10 seconds to go. There's not going to be very much editing in this video, by the way. I, just, I don't want to edit too much in this, so... Right, so let's just see what you do here. So the first thing you technically do is just go up into the air, throw down your uh, sticky bombs. Oh god, there's a, there's a Widowmaker. First and foremost, you've got to really avoid that echo. All right, so pretty much all you want to do is just make your presence known. Oh god, that Sigma's out of the out of there. Alright, take out the Genji. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do here. Oh, there you go. Finally got rid of him. <laughs> you, re you really want to try getting rid of a Genji. Because he obviously can't deflect your focus beam. So. Alright, so pretty much. Oh yeah, that's a pretty bad thing. 
I mean, if, if, if I'm playing as Echo, the, the first thing I want to do is just see if there's anybody around that can... That is, that's in half health, so you can finish them off. That's the whole objective to playing Echo. Is... You just want to spam those sticky bombs, throw it at anything, to see if you can actually catch anybody off guard and catch anybody that is out of position. Okay, so you got the Winston there. Probably because he was half health. I don't know why... Okay, there you go. Nice. So this is actually really interesting. So at the very, very beginning, you're not actually going up into the air and throwing sticky bombs. So, the, the, I mean, the, 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 the first thing I would do is go up into the air and then just look for somebody to throw sticky bombs into when they're coming out of their own spawn. But this is a very interesting start to the game here. I wouldn't play the Echo like this. But if you're if you're getting the value on the kills, yeah, finish with Winston off. I don't know what Winston's doing there. What, what is he doing there? Oh god, oh god, that's a nano grind. Yeah, you really want to get out away from that. Oh, okay. How how the hell do they win that fight? By the way, I'm just. <laughs> okay. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna play that back. All right, so uh, as you can see here, our good friend on the Echo has just uh, duplicated it into a Reinhardt. Now, duplicating a tank is quite essential, actually. I'd, I would prefer to duplicate into a Reinhardt because, or any sort of tank, because it's all about just just stalling out the payload for as long as possible. And if you're able to duplicate into a tank, because you've got, you can create loads of space for your DPS, and also you've got loads of You've got loads of HP, so you're not going to go down that quickly. So if you're able to stall a payload, then that's great. And you've got that extra little bit of protection if you're putting a shield up. So it looks like you've been it looks like you've been purpled here by the Anna. So you're just going in and swinging your your hammer around. Oh my God! So he's literally as he shattered he shattered the Reinhardt. Did he shatter the Anna as well? Okay, so it looks like he shattered the Reinhardt. That's huge, by the way. If you can get, if you can, if you can shatter the Reinhardt and everybody else behind him, that's actually quite huge. That's a fat shout right there. So that's a that's a really big shout actually. So that's pretty that's pretty good off of the uh, the the echo there. So yeah, it's it's really kind of essential that you you duplicate more tanks than anything else. I mean, if you if you if you're in a situation where you have to. If you have to duplicate into a maybe a, um, a support or maybe a DPS. Oh, it looks like oh my goodness! It looks like Reinhardt took out two there. Right, so you got to wait until your your supports get back. Wow, this is a very interesting situation we got right here. <laughs> All right, so yeah you gotta just literally just spam 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 those sticky bombs oh my god there's a bastion get away from that bastion ah oh well he was able to get him he was able to get him <laughs> nice it's a good revive there from the mercy to keep you alive keep you uh, in the fight all right so you got it you wanna are you gonna plant those bombs on there yeah, get rid of the supports, man. Get rid of those supports. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that you're doing that. I've noticed that they've done... that. This guy's doing it in particular. The fact that he goes on top of the supports to make it very difficult to get rid of you and then just throw sticky bombs down and then just go onto the focus beam to finish him off. That is so... That's so nutty. I noticed a lot of people do that. Like, you're supposed to go on top of them to take them out with a sticky bomb and then just eliminate them. So that's exactly what they're doing there. Just go straight on top of them, throw the sticky bomb, and then just... That's that's something that I don't usually do. Okay, so that's interesting. you got to do it. you got to do that on top of the supports as well, because the supports are absolutely crucial to get rid of. Alright, so you're, uh, you're pushing the payload. It's just all that. It's all about poke damage. So what are you going to duplicate into? That's the main. That's the big question. I would duplicate into Reinhardt. 
Who have they got? Who have they got on their team? They've got a Winston and a Reinhardt. Duplicating the Winston, I would have. I would definitely duplicate the Winston because you can use the uh, Primal Rage to really stall out the payload. So I would. I would like to. I would like to duplicate. I would expect you to duplicate the the um, the the Winston. Where is the Winston? He's over there. Oh, he's he's right there, isn't he? Oh no, no! You're going to duplicate into Farah. Okay. Oh, what? Well, okay, that's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, that is that is some extra value right there. Let me let me replay that bit. Right. So this is the part before you use the ultimate. So obviously, before when I said something about um duplicating into either Winston or Reinhardt to you know store the payload. Um, so what you decide to do is go ahead and duplicate into Farah. Okay, so that's what you do. So, oh, I see. That's actually quite clever because you've got a Mercy on your team. That's quite a cool because, I mean, you've got the, you got Mercy to support you with that. Okay. So that allows you to charge up your ultimate really quickly. Okay, so let's just go straight in there. So you take out the Anna. You yeah, there you go. And then then you take then you get your ultimate online. You've got Farah coming in. Justice reigns from above. Ha! Okay. So I, I'm guessing that's why you did that. I think that's why you did that because you have because you know that you've got a mercy on your team. So duplicating into Farah would have been a good idea just to clear out the payload basically. Okay, that's that's not bad. So then you take out then you take out Moira. Nice. So I think that's that's kind of like a, a good idea. Good, a good sort of good idea to, to have a look at is if you've got a Mercy on your team and you've got a, a Farah on the enemy team, you think, okay, maybe my, a good idea would be to duplicate into Farah and then just... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Nice. All right, so uh, let's just move over to you now. So I'm just, it's just these it's just these little tidbits that I that I get out of these games. All right, so just poke damage, poke damage. Yeah, throw those bombs in. Those those sticky bombs are so good, man. I I love throwing them in, and getting ultra like your your sticky bombs are like the absolute imperative piece of kit to get you ultimate charge. If you can throw down those those sticky bombs and it lands on somebody and it gives you that value it's so good man <laughs> what's that winston doing oh no yeah so there you go Spam spamming their uh spawn i mean i would do this i would if i was on defense like at, at the beginning of a game if i'm defending and i'm playing echo the one thing i would do the first thing i would do is to go aerial throw the sticky bombs down and hope that anything sticks to them coming out so you get free ultimate charge just right off the bat. But it looks like here that you're about to take out this Pharah player. Yeah, there you go. Get rid of the Pharah. Yep, yeah, fantastic. God, you're getting tons of value here. This is so good. I've learned a crap ton. Oh dear, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, you might want to try and get yourself out of there. Oh god, you got pinned by the Reinhardt there. Right, so they don't have very many ultimates in this next fight. You probably don't your team doesn't have anything at the moment so the best thing to do is just group up i would say <laughs> what is that ash doing in over there <laughs> it's so stupid all right so what have we what have we got now so we ah good so we got an orisa and we got a zaya so it looks like we've got some kind of uh i don't know what you want to call it actually i'm quite amazed that team one has both Reinhardt and Orisa, so you got pretty much a double shield going on there. Okay. All right, so go. I would expect you to go airborne, maybe. Wow, you're not you're not uh, going airborne. You're not using flight. Okay, now you're using flight. Okay. Okay, so you're getting heals. Throw those sticky bombs in like a madman. Yep, yeah, just just keep throwing it right. So you got you've got your ultimate online in a bit. 
So who are you going to duplicate? Hopefully you'll duplicate one of the tanks. Because that's what I always do. I always duplicate the tanks if I can. Alright, so what are you, you going to duplicate? Are you going to duplicate? Oh, okay, so you're going to duplicate into Pharaoh again. Where's your mercy? Where's the mercy? Oh, damn, look at that. Oh, look at that quad kill. Look at that quad kill. That is insane. Great stuff there. I'm going to play that back. Right, so this is before you use the ultimate. So, uh, let's just take a quick look at what is being set up here on the enemy team. So, there's an Ash. There's a Farah. There's a... There's a Lucio. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Lucio is not enjoying himself there. Um, okay, so Orisa is set up using Fortify. That's interesting. So it's always important that you tell your enemy, your teammates, that Fortify has been used up by the enemy. Right, so we're going to play that out now. So, oh, there's you over there. There's there's the Echo over there. So you've notified that the Orisa has used the Fortify. There's a, a Reinhardt that's been purpled. And his, a shield as well has been, is almost at zero as well. That's kind of important. So you go in. You duplicate Farah. Okay, that's really cool. All right, so you rain down the rockets. Oh, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Look at this. Look at this situation. Lucio, Moira, both on half health, it seems. This is this is this is brilliant, and that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to take everybody out. Oh yeah, that's a brilliant. That's a really good choice to duplicate, actually. Because look, you got value there. Look, you got four members of the enemy team, and it's going to benefit your team from pushing the payload. That is, that is great. It's all about picking the right hero in the right situation to get tons of value. So if you think that the best option would be to go for Farah to use the, the rocket barrage and you see that the enemy team is low, then go in there, use the rocket barrage, clean out the enemy team, instant team win. That's really cool. I like the idea of that. Good stuff. I'm learning a crap ton in this game. Right, so in this situation, we've got three minutes to go. Okay, so what? Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, die, you're not gonna die really quickly there. Don't, don't. I mean, yes, do spam the enemy spawn, but don't do it too much. Because otherwise, you're gonna, you're gonna die. And uh, obviously, because it, it takes a while for you to get back to the payload if you do die, because the payload's almost at the finish line. So if you are, st I mean, yes, do spam, but don't spam straight outside the spawn. <laughs> That's a bit, uh, I wouldn't do that. But I mean, yeah, I mean, you know. Hey, you know what you're doing. 54 kills, huh? Popping off. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, just literally just get on top of them. Just get on top of them. Because they can't deal with you. Oh, my days. That's insane. Look at that. that that's just brilliant. But then you die. But that's, that's really interesting. Alright, so this is something I don't do. I don't do this when I play Echo. All I do is I play so passively, and all I do is just stay up in the air and then just throw bombs down. I don't actually go in for the kill, because... Like, in order to get value out of this game, you just gotta go aggressive when you absolutely need to. If there's an opportunity for you to go aggressive, then go aggressive. I don't do it. I don't do it enough. I play way too passively, because I'm too scared. If you just go in there, and then you know that there are members on the enemy team that just need to get finished off then you go in there and then you just go in with the focus beam and then finish people off well i mean like go on top of them and then just beam them you know <laughs> right so basically this is what you do you go straight in you get revived it's just uh right so they're literally just about to come out so you've noticed there that moira is half health so I wouldn't do anything like this. I would just stay back, play passively, and then just throw bombs down. Because I've got my bombs available. But you don't do that. You are aggressive enough to go in there, notify that the Moira is on half health. And then you just go in there and just finish her off. And then, there you go. Bastion's been taken down. Now, it looks as though Moira has been able to heal herself up. So your flight's available now. Well, your, your, your flights are, are going to be is about to be available. So you go up into the air. 
And then you take out the... You throw the bombs down. Then you take out that ash. Which is absolutely crucial. I mean, you die, but... That's the thing. That's what, I, that's what I've learned from this. Is I, I don't play aggressive enough. I, I play way too passively. And I shouldn't do that. Alright, so we've got two minutes left to go. Um, okay, so... Yeah, you really don't want to be uh, going in there right now. So, the thing is, the thing is you've got to do is you've got to look for the support. You've got to take them out real quickly. But it's kind of difficult as well because you've got Orisa. Alright, so now you've got the main tank. You've got to... You've got to do you get rid of the uh, the supports here? Oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of nutty from that Reinhardt play because he just took out two guys there with the fire strike. So that's that's kind of annoying. Yeah, that's a pretty much a team wipe right there. Oh dear, that was uh, unfortunate. Okay, so going into this final fight, we've got one minute twenty seconds to go. Uh, it looks as though we've got. We've got an Anarolt to come. We've got a Genjelt to come. You, you're you on your duplication at the moment. Uh, are you going to go ahead and... Well, we can't duplicate Pharah because there's no Pharah available. So what are we going to do? Are we going to go for a main tank? Are we going to go for a Bastion, perhaps? Because Bastion's quite nutty if, you, if you're able to duplicate him. But let's see what you do. But you're going to have a ton of ultimates going into this. So let's see what you do. Let's see, let's see what sort of strategy you, you do here. All right, nice. All right, so Reinhardt's got his shatter available, so that's going to be a little bit um, worrisome. If he puts that down and he gets lots of value, you're not going to be able to get anything from from this fight. He's got to be very, very careful of that uh, shatter. What, what what is this strat they're doing here? They've got a bastion on the payload. Wait, let's have a, let's have a quick look at this. They have a bastion on the payload. Rein Orisa. Lucio supporting them. So they got a double shield. They got a double shield with a bastion on defense. That is actually ridiculous. But obviously you win this game, so it's interesting to see. Oh, you've Oh, so you have duplicated with a bastion. You have duplicated the bastion. Hang on, let's just uh, re I want to replay that back. Hold on. Okay, there's a minute to go. So yes, you do actually duplicate the bastion. Okay, that's But do you get any value out of it though? Let's have a look. Do you think that is Bastion the right kind of... I don't know. Are you going to get any value from this? Uh, okay. Oh! That's a that's a horrible shatter. That's a horrible shatter. No. No. Ryder. Oh, but you take him out though. What? That is a fat shatter from Reinhardt. But he didn't get any value for it. What? Right. So Reinhardt is here with his Earth Shatter available. Let's just see what he does with this, because obviously we didn't get to see it from a decent angle. So we're going to see it from an angle here. So, if I was Reinhardt, right now, I'd be like, put a shatter down on that mofo right there. That is purely decent value right there. Ryan, put your hammer down right now. So is that, ex is that exactly what he does? That's exactly what he does. Look at that. That is, there's Genji right there. There's Orisa. Like, every- why is- why is Mercy not- what? Look at that value! Look at that shatter! That is a fat shatter right there! I don't understand why he doesn't get any value out of that. No disrespect to the guy we're looking at on his team. But Ryan's a bit low there. Ryan's a bit low there. It's just a little bit unfortunate that Reinhardt doesn't get any value from that shatter. Even though it's a fat shatter. That is really unfortunate from Reinhardt there. But, having said that, you are able to survive, which is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Nice. Getting value. Getting rid of that Bastion. That's really key. Oh, it's so unfortunate you couldn't get the, the, the Moira there. I would totally get that Moira. Oh, you got Orisa, though. Go around the back. I will go around the back. You got rid of the Lucio, though. Oh, this is great. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Okay, so you've duplicated into Bastion again. That's actually a good pick. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, unlucky Moira. Unlucky Moira. 
Ah. Oh. But then again, you've got to throw everything at them, really, haven't you? But this is some actual nutty play from this guy. Look at this. That is actual nuts. Actually nuts. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fantastic game. I did learn a lot from that. So the things that I learned from this game is get on top of squishies. Get on top of them and then just eliminate them. Because if you eliminate the squishies, especially the supports, if you get rid of the supports, if you get on top of them, throw the bombs down, then use the focus beam, you can just delete them from the game. Because the, the, the worst thing you can do in this game is die. If you die in a fight, it puts a lot of pressure on your team because obviously they're going to have to 5v6 and you're never going to be able to win a 5v6. So, to play as Echo, you get on top of them, you throw the sticky bombs down and then you just delete them. I don't do I don't do this enough. I play too passively as an Echo player. I mean, yes, I do enjoy playing Echo, but the thing is, I don't do enough aggression. I don't I'm not aggressive enough, and I think that is the one thing I can take out of this. So, yeah. This has been episode 3 of Overschool. This is checking out a Echo player with 54 eliminations, a 3000 SR diamond player, it seems, according to this. Was it, was it, is, that a, is that a diamond player? Yes, it, it's a 3000 SR diamond player, 54 elims in QP, popped off as Echo, playing Echo the entire game. And yeah, the thing is, if you get on top, you throw the, you throw the bombs down, and you eliminate them easily. That's the thing. If you've taken out the supports, if you've taken out at least one or two guys doing this, you've done your job. It's up to the rest of your team to just eliminate the rest and then just push the payload or whatever you're doing, whatever you're taking a point, taking a point, whatever. The whole job is to get over guys and delete them. And that's what I've learned in this video today. I don't do it enough because I'm way too passively. I just stand way back and then just throw down bombs and hopefully to get value. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I do get on top, but the thing is, if you go aggressive, if, if you go more aggressive and you, you pick out the right heroes to target, take them out, preferably supports, and, well, hopefully you'll get some value. The other thing I've learned in this game is duplicating heroes at convenient times. So if there's a Mercy on your team and there's a Pharah on the enemy team and you reckon it's a good idea to duplicate into that Pharah, that Mercy can assist you and then hopefully you'll get tons of ultimate charge and then you can wipe out teams that are trying to contest the payload. Usually what I would do is I would duplicate into tanks to stall out the payload because you've got loads of HP, but you can sort of be tactical with your duplication. So if you've got somebody on your team that could benefit from assisting you into duplicating in that specific hero, maybe if you see that there is a, a, a Zarya on the enemy, enemy team and then you duplicate into that Zarya and you've got a Genji on your team, then you throw down the Grav and then you've got Genji available with Dragon Strike or Dragon Dragon Blade. So that Dragon Strike is Hanzo, isn't it? Dragon Blade. You know, it, it's all it's all about being tactical with your duplication. I don't do this enough. But what I do is I just play the duplicate into the tank and do this, that, and the other. But anyway, this was episode three of Overschool. I I learned a crap ton because I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into my game and see if I can improve with my echo. This was great fun to do. I really like doing this. This is the first game that I have reviewed where I'm not taking it from my Discord. I just browsed the internet and then just found this and I decided to do a video for it. So Wolfin, whoever you are out there in the world, thank you very much for posting this and helping me learn a crap ton. And yes, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at chrismon 9 Check me out on all of my social medias that'll be in the description box down below. Make sure you click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos that I intend to do in the future. Check out my Discord server as well and meet some fantastic people. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been CMG as always. And until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.